Hey, Kevin Wilson here. And today what we're going to cover is the introduction to uh, one of the most famous quartet songs um, in the last, I, I want to say, 10, 15 years, okay? Um, but the name of the song is Cool and Water, and it was done originally by uh, Melvin Williams and the William Brothers, and they brought Mr. Lee Williams in, the late Lee Williams in, to sing a uh, part of the song. Okay, and then Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs actually went ahead and recorded that too, or I know they performed it. I'm not really sure. I think they recorded them. I'm pretty sure they did. Um, but the introduction to that song was so creative, <laughs> but when you hear it, and we're going to go through it, you're going to say, well, I heard that somewhere before. So the introduction goes like this. And we're going to be doing it in the key of C sharp or D flat, same thing, okay? That's the introduction, right? So you say to yourself, I've heard that before. I've heard that before. But the people or the artists that actually created that, um, that introduction and who sang that song, not Cool and Water, but created that whole <laughs> beginning was The Temptations. And it was done in Motown and they did Just My Imagination. And that's where it came from. But for, I think Dwight actually suggested that, um, Dwight Gordon suggested that um, they use that for the introduction. Um, I believe I talked with him and he, he was saying that he came up with that introduction, but it was brilliant. I absolutely loved the way they came up with it. And when people hear the introduction, they just go crazy. When William Brothers do it, or Lee Williams would do it, you would, everybody knew exactly what was coming. So, but let's get into it. So we're doing it in C sharp. The song is in C sharp, okay? And what we're gonna do, the introduction is pretty basic, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start on our A string, which is the fifth string, second from the top, and we'll be on the sixth fret, okay? And that's starting on um, the D sharp or E flat, okay? And then we're going to go a whole step up to, and we're going to slide this to the A fret, okay? Then that would be F. So we're sliding from... The sixth to the A fret, and then we're going to slide back to the sixth fret, and then we're going to slide to the fourth fret. Actually, we won't have to slide, we'll just jump from the sixth to the fourth. Okay, so we got okay, so I'll do it again. Make sure you grab your guitar. I want you to do this while I'm doing it as well. Okay, so. We're going to slide to the A fret, back to the 6th fret. That's the slide both ways, forward and backwards. And then jump to the 4th fret. Okay, so we have... And then we're going to go up to our 6th string on the 6th fret, which would be the B flat. Okay. So we have so far. Okay. And then we're going to go to the fourth fret on that same sixth string, which would be a, a flat. So we have. Okay. Do it again. to the 6th fret on the uh, A string, okay? Uh, then we're going to slide it, then go back to, I'm sorry, to the 4th fret. We're going to go, okay? So what we have is, go to the E flat um, minus seven chord. Okay, so 
what we got. Okay, do it one more time. Okay, now it gets a little tricky here. Because what happens is they they came up with um, almost like a country lick. So what he does is go down to um, the A fret on the G string, which is an E flat, okay? And then they go to on the ninth fret on the B string. And this is played together, okay? You hear that? But what they're going to do is they're going to bend. They're going to bend that um, G string a whole step up. Okay. See that? So we're keeping that B string on the ninth fret constant. Okay. And that's actually an A. I'm sorry, an A flat. That's the A flat. See that? Then we're going to bend it to come down. Bend that G string a whole step. And then go back to the um, sixth fret. Okay? Because we're on the, on the A fret here. Bend. Come back down. And then keep that that A flat constant on that B string. So go on. See that? So it essentially sounds like this. But you're bending it. Then we're going to our D string on the A fret. And then going from that D string on the A fret back to the the sixth fret on the D string. Okay? Then we, I'll do it again. And then we're going to do that bend again and strike it twice. Okay? And then going back to the sixth uh, fret on the G string. So let's go over what we've done so far. I'm going to take it really slow. kind of paste a little bit so you can kind of get it in context. Then back to that E, uh, e flat minor 7. And then they go to a uh, hammer on. But it's going to start on the B string on the ninth fret. Okay. And then the hammer on is going to be from the ninth to the eleventh fret. See that? And but you're also going to be playing on the ninth fret that E string. So you have. See that? Okay. So let's do this. to 11th and then but you're keeping that E string down on the 9th fret too and then we're going to slide okay we're going to slide okay. see that from that um, ninth fret on the G string Back 
like almost identical to what we did on that. So we're going. From the slide. That is the A fret on the G string. Six fret on the G string. On the D string, the A fret. Okay, on the D string, on the 6th fret. So got... Then that... Okay, then we sliding that from that um, A fret to the 10th fret. And then going back to the 6th fret on the G string. So, so we got... I'm going to play the whole thing again. See that? And that is the whole introduction, okay? Do it again. Is the introduction to Cool the Water by Melvin Williams and the Williams Brothers featuring Lee Williams and Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs. Thank you for viewing. Listen, I can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care.